So let us try to understand how to find out the moment of inertia of a cutout section. So suppose we want to find out the moment of inertia of this particular section. So here we have shown a rectangle of width 200 mm and depth 300 mm and a circle of diameter 150 mm is cut out from this and we have to find out the moment of inertia of this remaining portion over here. So we will take this bottom as a reference and first we will calculate y1. So first step is to calculate this y1. So this is this rectangle we have considered as the first section. This second section is nothing but this circle which is cut out. So to calculate y1 taking this bottom as the reference y1 will be equal to nothing but 300 upon 2 that is 150 mm. y2 is nothing but the distance of the center of this circle from the base. So this y2 from this particular geometry of the figure will be nothing but this 300 minus this 100 will give you the value of y2. So y2 is equal to 200 mm. Then area of the rectangle, a1 is an area of the rectangle that is b1 given. So this is width that is 200 and depth is 300. So it is 60,000 mm square. a2 is the area of this particular circle that is pi by 4 d square. So substitute the value of d, d is 150 mm, so it is pi by 4 into 150 square. So that is equal to 17.671 into 10 to 3 mm square. And now we can easily calculate the y1 of the cutout section. So from the first section, we have cut out this second section. So it is a1 y1 minus a2 y2 divided by a1 minus a2. So substituting all these particular values, we will get the value of y1 equal to 129.126 mm from the bottom. Now we have to calculate the ixx in this particular case. So to calculate ixx consider y1. y1 is nothing but what? It is 129.126. y1, y2 these are the values. So find out the radius of variation. So it is mod of y1 minus y1. k2 is equal to mod of y1 minus y2. ixx1 is the moment of inertia of the first section that is nothing but a rectangle of the width 200 mm, that is b1 is 200 mm and depth is 300 mm. So applying the parallel axis theorem, it is 1 by 12 b1 d1 cube plus a1 k1 square. So substitute the value of b1, b1 is 200, d1 is 300, a1 is 60,000 and k1 is 20.874 as we have calculated earlier over here. So we get the value of ixx1 as 476.143 into 10 to 6. Similarly, Ixh2 is moment of inertia of this second section that is the circle which we have cut out from the rectangle and according to the parallel axis theorem it is the moment of inertia of a circle is given by pi by 64 t raised to 4 plus a2 k2 square value of diameter is 150 and a2 and k2 already we have calculated so just substitute all these values and you will get the value of Ixh2 as 113.614 10 to 6. So, moment of inertia of this cutout section will be equal to Ixx1 minus Ixx2 because from the first section, the second section is cut out and that value comes out to be 362.528 into 10 to 6 mm raised to 4. So, in this way, we can calculate the moment of inertia of the cutout section. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.